What is up, everybody? Paul Wyrostek, spiritual teacher, channeler of healing, and I have a little channeled message. When I ask Universal Oneness what to share with people, uh, they usually take this sweet ass time to tell me, and this this hails from the middle of the night, and it is overriding unnecessary experiences. Now, wouldn't it be nice that you know, to be able to override unnecess unnecessary experiences in life. Though on the spiritual path there, you know, of course we can say everything's divine and perfect and there are no unnecessary experiences, but there kind of is unnecessary experiences. And unnecessary experiences would be repeating the same thing over and over and over again. I mean, who wants to do that, right? So it's we are in a process of letting go of control all right that's that's a big part of it because if we if we're trying to control everything we're trying to keep things the same way all the time i've been saying in many different videos about this whole entire process is about letting go of control okay so it's you know the fear is what wants is wants to clamp on isn't it? The fear is what wants to hold on to what is familiar. But what is familiar to you is probably the same thing that's causing you the same pain, that's causing you the same grief, that's causing you to stay stuck in the same situation. So overriding unnecessary experiences has to do also with making different choices. So of course, healing has to be involved in order to let go and make different choices. But a lot of you that are watching this video now, whenever that may be, is already on their healing path. Okay, so overriding unnecessary experiences is a process of the, the willingness to connect to higher self, the willingness to connect to universal oneness daily okay i say this to a lot of my one-on-one -on -one clients um that it's declaring to universal oneness that you choose to experience only what is of your highest of good to experience today okay for that particular day okay think of that so it's making that connection to source simply just the intention of connecting to source, welcoming in higher self, welcoming in golden white light and thanking your higher self and saying, universal oneness, I choose and thank you to ex that I am experiencing only what is of my highest of good to experience today. That being said, there can be a little bit of a relaxation to say, okay, trusting the process that what you are about to experience is of the highest of good for you to experience. Then, this is what I highly suggest, is baby steps. Really, really small baby steps. I've been saying in many past videos, I call it the adult toddler program, is we're basically adult toddlers starting over on this path. So we're very vulnerable, we're very sensitive, and we've been programmed for a long time, haven't we? I've used this analogy before. It's easier to teach a musician, say a guitar player or any instrument who has never touched a guitar, it's a hundred times easier to teach that student guitar than the student that has been fiddling around on its own for a year learning all bad traits. Okay, building muscle memory that that is just out of sync with proper scales, modes, technique. Okay, so that person has to be broken down, and that's what we all are. We're part. We're you know we've grown up in that third dimension. Now we have to break down that process. The breaking down is the vulnerable, is the fear, right? But baby steps of letting go just a little, noticing, recognizing where you are controlling because control is is heavy okay so when you're we're able to say okay you know what let's just let this situation play out organically now what happens is so this would be like 
you know, you say if your friends want to meet up with you and you're like, you know, you start to get tense about something. Well, I want to suggest going to this place because if I, when last time I went to this place 10 years ago, a negative thing happened. So I'm going to try to control and have it go somewhere else. Recognize that, especially after you hear this now, you'll start to recognize that to say, okay, where are you controlling? Where are you locking up? Where are you clenching? And to say, you know what? This is a baby step. I'm going to just let it be organic and wherever we end up, we end up. Now, what happens over time is this organicness, this letting go, becomes the bliss of life. So the very thing that you're trying to control, the very thing that you're trying to change, is bliss. The path of bliss, the path of excitement that anything could happen at any time. Trusting that you have proclaimed that morning that you choose to experience only what is of the highest of good for you to experience. This turns the fear into bliss. Now, I haven't fully hit on the point that I wanted to hit on. Overriding unnecessary experiences. It's the process of making a different choice. I really want to stress that out. That, and again, in baby steps, making a different choice so that, okay, if I, I do the same thing over and over again, uh, I grab on to something like a spiritual baba or a blankie or a pill or alcohol or a mental, you know, grappling uh, place, you know, some sort of uh, safety net. Okay. Making a different choice is about letting go of that safety net. Making a different choice is going, you know what? Every time I've made that choice, it was the same unhealthy, unhappy result. So overriding unnecessary experiences is simply just making a different choice. Trustful back into universal oneness that you have declared that you choose to experience only what is of the highest of good. See, for example, doing these videos, it's I like to do these videos organically, right? Of course, I like to set up the laptop and I like to, you know, I like to do those videos as well. But, you know, a controlling situation is what if somebody just comes up and starts talking to me right now? So what? Say hi. I'm making a video. Right? Do you want to say want to be in the video? Right? Things like that. So it's taking a few breaths as we speak and see where you can today or whenever you see this video to just by making a different choice. Okay? You have completely changed the trajectory, your timeline, the path of your entire life. Just by switching a choice, you have opened up a whole new plethora of experiences, okay? Now, by accepting healing, by accepting ascension, you have literally just erased books upon books of karmic experiences that you no longer have to experience, okay? Three stages of transformation way back in my YouTube videos. I did a video on that. If anybody's interested, check out that video. The three stages of transformation is becoming aware. Then it's the willingness to release what doesn't serve you. And the third stage is the actual action of it, of moving forward. See what you can today to say, you know what? I want to override unnecessary experiences. How to do that? Make different choices. Connect to universal oneness. Say, I choose to experience only what is of the highest of good today. Call on your team. And the freedom of letting go of control is the bliss. To say, okay, whatever is happening, I can handle it. It's okay. And it's, it doesn't take away the fear necessarily. It doesn't take away the nervousness, the vulnerability. It doesn't take any of that away. But what it takes away is just enough for you to be able to handle it.
okay because this this we came to this planet in order to experience this in the physical in the physical form the physical is gross right it's beautiful yes but it's like if you haven't seen a child being born then you wouldn't exactly know what i'm talking about but that beauty eh, yeah it's beautiful right but it's absolutely violent almost right it's disgusting it's you know but it's a beautiful process it's really gritty it's really organic but what comes out of that is new life right? And that new life is the life of your divine path, the life of your higher self. So I holla if you hear me. I hope I'm talking to somebody. Share this. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting, and letting me know, you know, what do you think would be other ideas of how to override unnecessary experiences? Blessings to all of you. Let it be done. And so it is done.